we go, baby. YouTube, YouTube, we're back. The OGs are back. It's just two of us today. Hopefully, my man come on later on. But we're back. We're opening up training camp. We're practicing. We got our helmets on. We're getting a good sweat on. And we're doing it, baby. Back to football. Football is back, baby. Football is back in full go. The whole team is there. And we're looking good for the first two days of training camp. This is the whole week of training camp. We're looking good. We're looking good. No injuries so far. Everybody's clean. Got a clean bill of health for the most part. For the most part. And we out there, you know, ready to do the thing. So, Deacon, what do we normally do when we start this show, baby? What do we normally do when we start this show? <laughs> Let's get it. You don't know. Yeah, yeah. You don't know who you messing with. Uh, uh, you don't know who you messing with. I run you up and down the Serengeti. Heads ain't ready. I chew you up and spit you out like chicken confetti. My rhymes are heavy like elephants, stomping your regiments, dismembering all your limbs, ripping your ligaments. I break you down to an atom, change your chemical structure, roots and culture. You don't want to fuck with this brother. I'm like a time bomb, open fresh can of wish. Apple stylus plexiglass got you face down in the grass, ready to blast. Sticky for your jewels and your cash. Call me Robin Hood. Take the loot back to the hood. I wish you would try to retaliate. I wait like a sniper. Beat you like Street Fighter. I heat you up like a lighter. Don't need no ghost writer. Original skill. Killing that wheel. Terminate your real like the pill. This is real. Not no fiction. Came up for my jurisdiction. I'm live than you. Whether freestyle or written. Hitting hard like a hammer. Like a natural disaster. Like a hurricane. Plain and simple. Bringing the pain. Won the battle. What, 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 what? I'm ready to do this beat your pass like Lennox Lewis play you out like Barker Lewis. All right, Lewis. Big Al, we talking about being out on the field. Everybody's healthy. One good thing we saw today, and from here on in, hopefully for the rest of the season, is Jazan Newton. He's out of the boot. He's out of the boot. What do you think about that? Because I know that was your dude. You was waiting for him to play this year, and then you thought he was going to be a game record. What do you still think? I, hey man, I'm really surprised that he healed so fast. They say he's moving pretty good. They slow walking him, but he's out there, man. That's a lot, man. That means a lot to me, man. That's good. It's good to be young, Deacon. Yeah, it's good man. to be young when you heal quickly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because the man had two foot surgeries, and they say he's moving quick. He's doing. He's moving powerful, man. He's looking pretty mm -hmm. decent out there. They're going to slow walk him. I'm not expecting to see him maybe the first um, preseason game, but maybe the second or third preseason game, he might get some time out there, man. Yeah. I'm I excited. Expect, I would expect to see him that last preseason game, give him enough time to get his win together, give him enough time to get comfortable on that foot, and then on that last one, put him in the fire and see what he got. You know, we, we already know he's going to make the team. Yep. So it's just a matter of him getting contact at that point. Because he probably and he probably plays in the in the scrimmages in Miami and, and New York, mm -hmm. but I don't expect to see him in the game. In the game, yeah. I expect to see him in that last game where he's going against people who are trying to make the team, not as experienced. He get in there and, and, and if he can be a game record with those guys, man, I, I, he's going to be in a constant rotation, which I think he will because his mm -hmm. tape, his tape alone, man, it is exciting. Nice. When yeah, you watch him in Illinois, his tape is exciting, man. Yeah. And he's, he's the only one, if you watch the tape, he's the only one on the team that's making plays. Only play. one. Only <laughs> one. You know, my cousin went to my, uh, Illinois and he was mm -hmm. saying that he don't know who we pick because the only person we could pick is Jazan Newton. And I was like, <laughs> oh, that's the one we got. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he's the only one on the team. And if you look at his tape, man, he's a gangbuster. And yeah, it's man. almost it's almost like I don't want to put too much pressure on the dude. You know what I'm saying? But it's almost like uh, the guy in, in at the, the Rams. Was it Rams? Yeah, he reminds you of him. Yeah. Uh that we old man. man, we can't think about uh, you know, Everybody know who we talking about. <laughs> you, know, in the you go ahead and call us out in the comment like y'all always do. But yeah, similar, even even uh 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 Dominican suit. You know, Dominic that type of presence where you have to double or you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose yeah, he, guy, he's you know? a leverage guy, man. He's yeah. like, you know, he's one of those guys that's strong, uh quick and uses right. leverage. And he hits the, he gets into the backfield. Uh, I think it'd be a nice rotation if he's healthy. Mm -hmm. If he's healthy, we're paying the island and him. And then who's going to get that fourth position? Is it going to be the big guy? Is it going to be the big guy from Alabama? You know, which one's going to make that um, the, that last position? Somebody's getting cut. 
Some, yeah, somebody, yeah. And, and we were talking about a while back that it's going to be some surprise cuts because uh, Fladeri Mathis could get cut. John Ridgeway could get cut. Uh, some other dude they brought in because they brought in a couple other guys. That they did, yeah. in the middle, So they got a battle with them. You got KJ Henry that can play. You got uh, F.E.O. Bada who's on the pup list. Pup list, yeah. Lied. Listen, I, I was listening listen to a podcast earlier and they were saying that, you know, Good teams cut good players. Mm-hmm. You can't be afraid to cut good players because right. the ones you got are the good ones too. You know what right. I mean? And, and for us, that's something new because we're not used to cutting good players. At <laughs> least, at least not knowing we're cutting good players because mm-hmm. sometimes you go to another team and they they, they beat stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, they beat stuff. You know, if we can look at these guys and say, you know, they can contribute. We got we got guys on here that's gonna get cut that can contribute, and if you cut them. They won't be on the practice squad because somebody's going to scoop these guys up. Yeah. Ridgeway, they're going to surely scoop him up if he gets cut. You know, Ridgeway is a special case because you got to remember, he was playing in Dallas when uh, Dan was there. Yes, he might have a van. Yeah. yeah, so, and he, they say he lost about 20, 30 pounds in coming into camp and he's bulked up, so he's gotten a lot stronger. And they say that, that in Dallas, that was his problem. He wasn't as straight. big, but he wasn't as physical and strong. Mm. But even when he was at us, he wasn't physically strong, but he was body slamming people. You know what I mean? He was body slamming. He has that attitude that Dan likes, man. Mm. So he might have, like I say, he might have the upper hand on that because he knows exactly what Dan likes. Well, the biggest thing, though, is that, you know, if we can play defense and not have to do what your boy Trey Z likes to do every down, blitz, 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 you know what I'm saying, and just play the front four and get pressure, Mm -hmm. that's an advantage really for us, man. That helps our secondary out, which we know may not be the strongest, you know. Well, at least we don't know yet, but the last couple of years have been kind of weak. So that helps us out a whole lot if we can get some pressure without not always blitzing. And then when we do blitz, we're sending Frankie Louvu to blitz, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Are we we sending um, maybe even Davis playing a defensive hand or coming around the corner blitzing too. So hopefully... Newton back, it means a big jump for our defense, man, because our defense has to get better this year. I think for us to be competitive in mm-hmm. our division, we got to play better D. And last year we didn't. This year, some people got to step up and play better D. And what I like about this season so far, when they talk about the first two days of camp, everybody's talking. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of communication in the defense. Mm-hmm. Everybody's, especially in that secondary, that's been a big problem. People didn't know what coverage we were in. Everybody's running different coverages. And now what they're saying now is everybody's talking. Between, between Frankie Louvu, between um, the experienced Wagner. guy, um, what's the name? Wagner. Um, Wagner. Wagner, because he's talking a lot. They even say Quan is talking a lot out there. And they say yeah. Quan always looks good. And it's it's helping out your boys to, you know, um, we call him. Emmanuel Ford. Walker. Yeah, Emmanuel Ford, Jimmy mm-hmm. Walker. It's helping him a whole lot out to keep his, keep his you know, Head on the swivel, you know, keep his head on the swivel. So that's what we need to do is talk. So this year we have, from a defensive perspective, we have to talk and we have to know what we're doing and play fast with bad intentions. Fast with bad intentions. Well, the good thing is, um, as far as getting the defense better, um, I was I was listening to uh, um, Allen talking about how he played last year and how he plans on playing this year because he was saying that last year they wanted him to change his scheme the way he uh rushed the passer he said they had him rushing the passer in a different way that wasn't his style so he feels more effective in this style that he's playing now because the defensive uh, coordinator is letting him play how he plays best what he's comfortable at playing so you're talking about them guys up front being comfortable and, and, and rushing full speed and going to get the quarterback in the ball, that's going to alleviate a lot of issues with our, sec- our, our, our linebackers. And our linebackers obviously have gotten stronger, right? So you got the front end getting stronger. You got the uh, second level getting stronger, which is only going to help the, uh, the cornerbacks out, who is the weak link, I would say, on the defense, the weakest link. Maybe not a weak link, but the weakest of the defense is the cornerbacks. Mm-hmm. Not even the, the safety, not the, the nickel corner. I'm talking about St. Juice and Emmanuel Forbes starting on the corners. Those guys are going to be helped tremendously by the rush 
and by them not having to worry about coming down and playing the run because yeah. we got linebackers that can go side to side. Right. We got defensive ends that can go side to side. We got inside rush that can get to. So if all goes well, everybody is helping everybody out in every level. And that's how you get a defense better, man. And I think that's going to help our guys out a lot because Emmanuel Forbes, they say he put on about 10 pounds of muscle. <laughs> they say he put about 10 pounds of muscle on since they took that picture with the, with the high school kid. That's what they say. I, look, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just reporting the news, man. That's what they say. He put on some <laughs> pounds, man, and he's still fast. But him and Terry been out there battling, man. He wins some, he loses some. You're gonna do that. So mm -hmm. hopefully, he can put last year behind him, chalk it up as being a rookie on yeah, rookie. the defensive coordinator and and, and the court, the, the uh, position coaches not knowing how to coach his style, not how to coach his figure, <laughs> whatever he got going on. So hopefully this year they can put him in the right positions, have him playing yeah. in, in space That's and space. not man to man all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I like what Dan Quinn with DQ always says. He wants to take the talent and let them make make call plays for the talent that they have on the field. You know what I'm saying? Put those, all those guys in a position where they can win what they do well. You know what I'm saying? That's his particular philosophy, which right. in the past. Other coaches don't have that philosophy. They, you know what I'm saying? They just have a different philosophy. But Dan Quinn is noted to taking the talent that he has and making it work. When he was at Seattle, he had big cornerbacks that were slow. So he played a lot of zone. Mm -hmm. You know, when he was in Dallas, he had cornerbacks with speed. So they played a lot of zone man or zone man concepts, you know what I'm saying? Where they can make plays on the ball. He mm -hmm. takes the talent, whatever he has, and tries to make it work, you know, using teaching and using play calling, you know what I'm saying? So there's some things that it's a reason why Mayan Forbes got drafted number one. We we yeah, all I mean, know, I was, yeah. you know it's a reason why St. Jude's was the number two or number three pick. I can't remember what he was, mm -hmm. but it was a reason why. And we gotta, you know, use their talent. You know what I'm saying? These guys are great athletes. You would not be in the NFL if you're not a great athlete. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we got to use the talent, man. I was listening to a podcast with um, Logan Paulson and the tight end, the, our, the veteran tight end that we got on our team. His name slips me at the moment. Um, Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz. Did you see that? Did you listen to that that, um, that podcast? Uh -uh. It was very good, man, because Zach Ertz was talking about when he goes to the line of scrimmage, what gives him an advantage mm -hmm. is when he goes to the line of scrimmage and before you say hike, he knows exactly what coverage the team's in. Yeah, he's, yeah. Been, he's been around so long mm -hmm. that he can read whatever coverage you're in. That means he can play full speed, get mm -hmm. to where he needs to get to without worrying about, you know, instead of running down the field and reading the coverage as you're running, he's going right to the spot. You know right. what I'm saying? And, and for him, he's hoping to be a safety valve for a young quarterback, you know, mm -hmm. when he gets pressure and blitzes and stuff like that. And that's his whole job is, and he's also training the, the other tight ends. Um, you know, Cole Turner's one of them. He's doing a lot of work with, and you know, mm -hmm. Ben Sinek is the other one. He's doing a lot of work with, man. He's saying when you come, the, the key to is to play fast, play fast, mm -hmm. and play faster. And the way you play fast is know what the hell you're doing. Yeah. And the way you know what the hell you're doing is having a good read on what the other team is trying to do. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So. He was just talking about his role on the team. It's really to be not only a playmaker and a safety valve for um, for Jaden, it's also to be basically a player coach. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and it's a linebacker too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the advantages of being uh, a veteran. A veteran, you yeah. He's played so long that even though he may have lost a step, he's playing at full speed. He's playing at full he's speed. He's playing at full speed. So his step that he lost – isn't as bad as you may think because he right. knows, like I said, he knows the defense. He knows. He said most goes. rookies get cut because they playing at half speed, mm -hmm. and you know they trying, to out. trying to figure stuff out instead of playing at full speed. Whatever you do, you always want to play full speed because mm -hmm. you, you always want to showcase your speed. Right. And you can figure out what defense they. He, he come to the line of scrimmage. There's no defense he hasn't seen. Mm -hmm. So he was. I come to the line of scrimmage. I know exactly what D is. I know exactly where this play. Where the open is going to be, I'm gonna run right to it. I'm gonna be wide open. You know, it's just up to Jaden to have that security blanket with him. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So that's that was a positive thing. I'm just listening to him, and then he says he's laying that information 
to those that can handle this. Sometimes you can give it to a rookie, but it's safe. they can't process it. You know what I'm saying? So it depends on the person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that, that happens a lot too, I think, that some rookies just can't process the information fast enough to stay on, stay in the league, you know? Stay in the league. They don't take good directions from uh, veterans because they think they know it all because, you know, you come into the league, you're the, you have been the best on your squad forever. You know, so you never needed help. You know, you've been the best in college. You've been the best in high school. You've been, right. you know. Well, he like was kind of, he kind of referred to like um, Cole Turner is playing half speed. Man. You know, mm -hmm. that's what is one of his problems. He's been out there playing half speed, not being his. You know, he was a beast in college. Yeah. We thought he was gonna be a beast for us, but he hasn't looked like too much for us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And because he's trying, he's running down the field trying to figure out where to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's coaching too. No, yeah. we had, unfortunately, you know, we didn't have, we had, we haven't had the best coaching staff here in, in Commander Land the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's just face to fact. We haven't had good coaching probably since um, Shotgun. Shotgun, yeah, Shotgun. Probably the last time we had good coaching staff. <laughs> it's you know been a saying? while. It's, it's been, been a while. Been. Yeah. But speaking of the safety valves, you know who we're gonna talk about, man? JD Five. You know what I'm saying? We're going to figure out what this guy can do because everybody's saying that he's looking good, man. He's making the right reads. He's throwing touchdowns. He's looking better than the veteran Mariota, especially in the, end, the, the, the uh, red zone. He's looking good. So what is what is your expectation? I mean, to be, be uh, don't be a fan. Be a critic. You know, what is your expectation? He's a rookie. He, he's, he's not frail, but he's thinner, so he, and he's a runner. And, but he can throw on the run. I mean, you've seen the tape. What is your expectation for him? Not for the team's success and all that stuff, but what do you expect him to do? Is it going to be a lot of ups and downs, or is it going to be he's going to be barnstorming like the, uh, your dude C.J. Stroud did in, in, in Texas? What what kind of thing? Because, you know, they, they have a, a thing, too, him and C.J., because they come from the same area, so they always want to do, outdo each other. Right. But what is your expectation for him? I mean, Jaden. So far, what I've been told is a student of the game mm -hmm. uh, and a good athlete. You know, he's not as small as you think he is. His lower body is as strong as you think it is. He's small up top, but his lower body is strong. So I'm I'm not so concerned about can he play football. He's been playing football since you know he was eight nine years old. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, OG oh. fans. Football is football at nine and eight as it is in the pros. Mm -hmm. Either you have it or you don't have it. That to me, that's so. You know, I think so. I, I well, the way he executed in college and in high school is the same way he's executing the pros. The difference is that you got to have players around you that gonna put you in the best position. Mm -hmm. I'm a little concerned about that offensive line. The offensive line was not good last year. Was not you know, was not good at all for quarterbacks last year, yeah, yeah. and we haven't we done some improvement, but it's still a work in progress. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm am a little concerned about our wide receiver core. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like we got to see wide receiver core. I know everybody disagrees with me. A lot of people are are happy or more maybe a B minus, maybe a B minus. I got C, but you say you can say B. I C feel plus. like C. <laughs> C plus, man. I give you C plus then. <laughs> Thank you. But, you know, so I'm a little concerned about that. I think we have to run the ball more than we we think we do. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Um, I think Jalen actually will have to run the ball, too. He's going to have to run the ball mm -hmm. to be effective. You know what I'm saying? Um, because of our offensive line and because of, you know, our so-called mid-level wide receiver core. You know what I'm saying? You know, that third receiver, I'm not sure who's going to be. You know, it could be McCaffrey. It could be Brown. It could be um, uh, your boy. Cashman Island. Cas it could be Cashman Island. You know what I'm saying? He's right. right. They, be, they're, high, they're high on Tinsley because he's big, man. Yeah, Tinsley's big. They like um, And then also the old man still got a chance to make the team. Um, the Zoys guy. What's his name? Crowder. Crowder still has a chance. So. Well, they're going to keep. They're going to keep at least six, man. So it, there's there's room on the team for a wide receiver, but you have to be able to play special teams. Oh, definitely. You have to be able to play special teams to stay yeah, on the definitely. team. That's all it is about. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, most definitely. I think they're going to keep four tight ends too. Believe it or not. Four. Four. They're going to keep four tight ends. Believe it or not, they're going to keep seven. Four. I can see four. Yeah, they'll keep four yeah. tight ends. I think they're only going to have three running backs though. 
Yeah, there's no problem. Yeah, there's yeah, no really three, I think they had three running backs. Um, but nevertheless, you know, I'm concerned with the team around Jaden. I think as we build a team, Jaden would get better. It's going to be a rookie. CJ Stroud had a great offensive line last year. He had a good running game, and those wide receivers matured. That's another thing. So our wide receivers can get better, at, like CJ Stroud's wide receivers did. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. That's the same thing we can do here. I mean, Dotson can come into his own. Dotson is the number one pick, there so he can come into his own. Um, McCaffrey got good blood genes, and you know, I mean, his his brother is a beast. So he, he, he fast, you know what I'm saying? So you know, and you never know what you know, Cashman Island. You know what I'm saying? You never know what you know what I'm saying? Hey man, we we change, we change. We like Cashman, man. But you hey know, man, he, and he, I think that Jaden has two safety valves. He has, I think, a tight end. Zach Ertz, we just talked about him. And then I think the, the running back, if he stays healthy, the old man running back. Um, Eckler. Eckler, if he stays healthy. You gotta be, he's yeah. a safety foul too. He, he looks healthy right now. He's he's quick. He got some moves. I've seen some tape, man. He's he's jittery right now. So that's good. Yeah, yeah. He, so everybody, everybody's, everybody's, everybody's good fresh right now. now, though. Yeah, everybody's feeling everybody's good right fresh, now. So yeah. it depends on, you know, after those first couple of games, like, he's yes. still fresh, man. That, so I'm not expecting a CJ Stroud season. If we get that, I'd be ecstatic. I think that if we get that, then we got to probably, you know, you know, a good chance of having a, you know, all pro, a Pro Bowl type player. If we get a CJ Stroud type performance, mm -hmm. but if we get a comparable game manager, I'd be happy with that too. And as he's built, you know what I'm saying? As mm -hmm. he's built, because. I just don't think our team is not fully developed. I think our, you know, our GM still is building the team. It's going to take a while. It's going to take another two or three years to turn, turn the team over to where he wants to. What if we get? What if we get a season like your boy in Green Bay? Oh, that's great. Half the season he was good. Half the season he was still learning. Right. You know what I mean? That might be possible because you, you know, you start off, you know, because the NFL is the NFL, man. It's, yeah. it's going to be a fast game for him. I don't care how much mm -hmm. VR he's been doing. It still ain't yeah. the same as playing. You know what I'm saying? So, if we get a half a season where he's playing, getting better and better every week, mm -hmm. like your boy in Green Bay did, I'm happy with that, man. I just don't, I'm just concerned about the offensive line uh, and the problems we had with our boy last year. That boy took punishment last year. That boy wasn't bad. Um, yeah, yeah. He's in the name? Yeah, yeah. How? I can't think of his name. Now. How, 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 how? 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's true. And it, half of it is probably on the line and half of it is probably on him, but once again man we got new coaches in here and maybe maybe they just weren't being coached right last year maybe it was just one of them years that everything failed the players mm -hmm. every coaching system failed the players and that's how we ended up with four wins so you're talking about a new scheme right a new new play because wiley who we all are not great on right the right tackle he came from uh uh, uh the Chief. chiefs right he came from the chiefs one thing Mahomes do is scramble. He moves the pocket. So maybe in this system where they're going to start moving the pocket so Jaden's not just standing still and has a, a chance to roll out, and maybe that maybe that works better for him. Maybe it helps a, a, a left tackle where he's not just being dominated, you know, on one side because they can't go as fast as Jaden because he's not a statue. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that helps that. Jaden helps out the offensive line more than they help out him. Right. Because they, and in the, especially in the beginning, because they're not going to know what Jaden's going to do. They're right. not, whether they're he's going to run ball. first and throw or be jittery and just throw the ball out. They're going to have to figure him out. And we're going to have a couple games in there where, you know, we get the benefit of the doubt where they're not going to be rushing as hard. They may blitz, but they be like a run blitz or something like that. Where they want to, you don't don't get too outside the, the pocket. You know, what I'm saying you know how some uh, defensive ends or Chase Young would run behind the quarterback. You can't do that with Jake Daniels. You know what I mean? Because you're giving him a lane. So maybe that helps out as well. So we we gotta wait and see, especially because nobody really knows right now what Kingsbury's offense is really going to be. Right. And I'm with you. I think we're gonna do a lot of running. I think, I think we're gonna run more than you think we're gonna run. It's gonna be heavy run. And, and it's going to be just, if that works, we're going to be running down people's throat. Because I think that we're big enough to go three yards in a cloud of smoke. And then Eckler's fast enough to get that one extra yard or that uh, five yards on an end zone. That's his specialty. That's his specialty. You know? So 
if we can if we can do that, I'll take that all day. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I don't care if Jaden is a, is a gangbuster and throws for uh, 400 yards a game. If he's throwing 153 200 and we're winning, who cares? Right, right. Yes, he can throw 300 when we need him to throw three. Let's just run the ball and see what we got. Well, I do like it though when Jaden has the command of the offense. They said that's what they say in practice, and mm -hmm. they talk about him even when he was in LSU. Is that he has a quick release. You know what I'm saying? He does mm -hmm. have a a good release that you know when that blitz is coming, you know he just has to get comfortable with the NFL. You know what I'm saying? But that quick release can help you a whole lot, and also like you said, that running ability. I mean, a lot of people don't even blitz your boy from Baltimore because no, they can't. Yeah, you, you he run by. Yeah, that's he run, he run by you. It's over, baby. You. Yeah. Or you. So, Jaden will have, like I said, in the beginning of the year, you know, you know, we'll see because Tampa Bay has a pretty good defense. That's just the face of fact. Tampa Bay got some good linebackers. They got a pretty good defense. So that's we're what we're going to be run heavy for us. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna see. Gonna and I think actually we're going to, now we get in full pads on Monday. Right? We're going to full pads on Monday. We're still practicing against our own defense. They've seen a lot of stuff that we're doing already. They know how you know the offense is working. And works. We're going to be able to tell more when we do the scrimmages with Miami and New York. Once we get to them and you start seeing different players, different defensive schemes, and different stuff like that, you're going to find out this guy can read the defense. Right. You're going to find out if he can hit the uh, wide receivers in, in tight corners, tight spaces. Can't you drop it in the bucket? You know, that type of stuff. We're going to see that at that point. We want to know a lot more at that point of the game, point of the season. Well, I do like about our scrimmages that we're playing teams that are fast. Both teams have speed. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Both teams, and one team has a veteran quarterback, the other one has. He's a veteran too at this point. Yeah, yeah, he's a veteran too. Both teams got veteran quarterbacks with speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with speed. So we can judge where we lacking at or where we good at by, mm -hmm. by that those scrimmages. Not the game. The preseason game ain't enough. Right. I think they're going to play second yeah, and third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. they just trying to find out who's going to the rock. Yeah, but I'm talking about the reports and stuff that we see in those scrimmages before the preseason game. That's yeah. where it's going to be at. Yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be critical. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you're going against two different types of quarterbacks, too. Right. Two different You're going against a punch slinger, and you're going yep. against a, a, a precision type of quarterback. 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 Right-handed and left-handed. So right. you work both sides of your defense, you know what I mean? Right. So I think, we, I think it's going to be exciting this year, man. We're going to get out of here. I think it's going to be very exciting. We'll have to watch closely and, and tamper your expectations on what you see and just wait for the season to start. Don't get, you know, too uh, hyped up on what you see in practice or what clips come out in practice because all the clips are highlights. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody got a highlight clip, man. So just chill out on that. Wait for the season to start. And I just believe in this, man. I think that this year we're going to have uh, a more, more true season. It's going to be true because I'm talking about it's going to be one of those seasons that we can we can actually put in the bank and, and go on from there. We're moving up this way. We're going forward. You know what I mean? So this is this is the foundation of year. And if it goes quick, that's good too. But this is the foundation of year. We're gonna find out what we need in the draft and all that stuff this year. And we're gonna find out what we can get in free agency. Uh, and I think next year is gonna be even better. Let's get through this year. You know what I'm saying? That, Come off of the 13, 14 wins. Don't, don't, don't set yourself up like that. We're gonna be okay. Big out. Get out of here, man. Oh, hey, man. It it I want to say this, my love football, man. I'm excited, man. Hey, thank y'all guys for subscribing. Please keep subscribing. Please keep liking. Please keep commenting. We really appreciate y'all. Look for a lot of content this year. This year we're excited. We got a lot for you. We got a lot of things planned for y'all in the future. Hey, Trey Z. Hey baby, wake up, baby. We wait, yeah. wait for you next year, next week, man. Hey, hold on a second. Just, but just because you said, that, I remember. I wanted to give a big thanks out. Now we thank you to all the subscribers, whether you're the first one or the last one, man. We appreciate all y'all. But the, the ones that put, first of all, let, let's say, let's say a big thank you to uh, Walt, Big Walt, who said he guaranteed us getting a thousand before the season starts, man. We right on the so we appreciate you, Walt, man. You need to get back on the stream with us so we can uh, kick it out. But uh, I don't know who was first and who was second, but uh, Tim, Tim Fosse, F-O-I-S-I-E, or Corey Bailey 
We appreciate both of y'all. Y'all are ones that put us over the top of a thousand, man. So we want to give y'all a little shout out. And, uh, yes, sir, man. We appreciate hey, it. Man. Hey, hey, guys, listen to that go go, man. I know y'all loving that go go. Keep Amen. listening. Keep listening. Listen to the whole show, baby. The whole yeah. show. <laughs> you know your mama, know your mama from the go go.